In this video, we'll take a quick look at Backtrack 5. And to begin with, you'll notice some changes here within the default menu. And we've got three of them that we pretty much will choose most often. And we've got the default text one, which is going to give us the ability to boot up to the Backtrack operating system and be in the command line interface to start with, which is most common for us to do. We'll have to type in the start X to go ahead and boot into the operating system for the GUI interface. Now we've also got the Backtrack Stealth, which is going to have the networking disabled by default so that your computer will not be picked up on a, on a network and it will not receive a DHCP address from a server. We've also got the Forensics, which is going to go ahead and boot up and not modify the Windows drive or the drive that's the hard drive um, that you're booting the live CD on top of. And so we've got three different modes here to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and begin by clicking the default text mode. Once the operating system is loaded to the command interface, we're going to go ahead and type in start x to start the GUI. So I'll type in start x, and we'll go ahead and start the GUI for us. And so if I click on the terminal here, you're going to notice that if I type in an ifconfig, we do have the networking enabled by default now in Backtrack 5, which is a change from the previous versions of Backtrack. And so I did receive a DHCP address from a server, which gives me ability here to connect to the network without having to do anything or type any commands in to make that work. And so I'll go ahead and close this. Now the one thing that they've done here is they've built Backtrack 5 off of Ubuntu 10.04. It's based on that distribution. And so there's going to be some different changes here. Uh, this is also a GNOME desktop, which is uh, not the favored one of Backtrack in the past, which has been the KDE. And so now we've got a different desktop interface to work with as an option. Uh, they still do have the KDE desktop available for download. And so we've got up here in the applications, you're going to see the typical thing for a GNOME desktop. You've got your accessories. They've given us the ability here for a text editor. Your terminal is located here in this W bar, which is going to give us a quick launch bar down at the bottom if we use this. And I'll click refresh here, and you'll see that the quick launch bar has enab been enabled down here at the bottom. And so we've got that ability as well. I've got the regular backtrack menu, which is going to give me all my tools. Now, if you're familiar with backtrack 4, you're going to see that some of the categories have changed quite a bit and so you can see um, some have been deleted, some have been added, some new tools that we've got to work with in this Backtrack operating system. Uh, some of the things are just kind of moved around as well and so if you wanted to try to find an application like Nmap, we'll say, you now have to go to Information Gathering, Network Analysis, you're going to go down to Network Scanners over here and you'll find some of the tools that you're familiar with and so I'll just go ahead and click on Nmap. And so you can still find your tools you just have to look for them. They're, they may be in a different location. So I'll go ahead and close that. So that's, these are the categories that they've got now um, based on the Backtrack menu. And this is where most of the tools are for the Backtrack operating system to do most of the uh, forensics or penetration testing within Backtrack itself. And so now let's go over here. We've got the internet. We've got Firefox as our default browser. You can see ZenMap is in here as well as our wireless network manager that we've got to work with. As far as the Office applications, KeepNote is the one that they've got installed to take notes with. You can also see they've got UNet Booting in here, uh, which is going to allow us to make a bootable flash drive or bootable drive, uh, CD drive for um, a CD image to a flash drive. We've also got a sound recorder, and then Wine is installed by default as well, which gives us the ability to run some of those Windows applications that I may need to run uh, within the Linux platform. As you would typically come to find to expect on a GNOME desktop, you do have a places up here at the top, which gives us some of the common places to go to on our desktop or home folder, a desktop computer, and the network, and so forth, as well as the system menu, which gives us some preferences to actually change the operating system itself. And so you, see, you can see that we've got quite a few preference tools. Under the administration, we've only got the system monitor to work with, and so that one comes up, and we can kind of see how our computer is set up and how it's working at the moment. I'm going to go down here. We've also got, this is something new to backtrack. You're going to notice that we've got a shutdown menu straight from the GUI. And so I've got the option to shut down, restart, or hibernate. And this is the backtrack operating system. A uh, quick overview of the tools that we've got in here, some of the changes they've made within the operating system. And this concludes the video.